Good morning, everybody. I'm about to go for a bike ride. It is currently 82 degrees out. By the time I get back to here, it'll probably be in the 90s. And I'm gonna do this ride in this shirt that's 100% wool, if you can believe that. And I'll explain to you when I get back. I just thought about the Camaro, the 50 has that gauge and it's hooked into the OBD2 port. It's supposed to read all of the sensors in the car. So I'm thinking, I'm not sure, I'm gonna go through it later on. We'll start the car up and we'll go through the settings and see if it doesn't read the wideband settings. Because some of you have mentioned about how erratic the wideband readings were on the uh, 91 Camaro Project Z28, which to me, I don't know. I, don't, I haven't messed with those things enough to worry about it. But I don't think it's really that big a deal because if you watch all the other sensors, they, they're all over the place. The computer's making millions of adjustments per second on these things. So but we'll see what that reads. So before we start getting into uh, tuning Project Z28, I have to burn another tune. Brian sent me another one. This time we're working on the drivability settings of the car because it's been running really lean on the drives. Ooh, I'm dark. We're getting the sun. Uh, so yeah. So let's talk about the shirt. Wool. I know what you're thinking. It's probably crazy, right? And I thought it was crazy too. Uh, when I got in the army and we had those green wool socks and those green wool blank. I hated wool. I've hated wool ever since. And you can never get me near wool to save my life. Uh, even in the army, I didn't wear those green socks. I wore them for a little bit. I was miserable, and thankfully, I never got in trouble for wearing the uh, my white um, PT socks, physical training socks, in my black army boots. Messed up the socks bad, but at that time, there was no other option. I mean, I know later on they released like a black cotton sock, which I bought. But anyhow, so wool. So what's the deal with the wool? All right. You guys remember my friend Kevin at 30 and wake up. This guy travels to a country for 30 days and then he wakes up in another country. Pretty cool concept. I like the idea. I love staying in a country long enough to actually take it in. I like that idea a lot. Not going to copy him, but I like the idea. So I like what he does. But he, you know, COVID brought him home and he did van life. And uh, my channel got the lead. I asked him if he could help me out, give me a little shout out, try to rebuild the channel. But then luckily I got the channel back. But uh, I asked him. Because he's a minimalist, he travels 30 days, like I said, at a time, and he travels with just a carry on, a backpack. And I asked him, I was like, How do you do that? How do you bring enough stuff? And he said, Merino wool is the secret. He's like, You can wear this stuff for several days in a row, and it resists odors and all this other stuff, and it allows you to travel on just a few days worth of clothing. So that might not seem like that appealing to some of you, but basically, I've been wearing this shirt every day when we went camping and now i just wore it on the trail so i've been wearing this shirt like six days and even my wife smelled it there's no odor in the shirt there's none um, you can smell a little bit like in the armpits of deodorant but there's that's it there's no smell there's no sweat so like just say you're traveling in the rv you're traveling full time you don't want to stop at a laundromat every five days because between two you got 10 pairs of shirts and shorts and you have a huge what if you can go three or four days i know it sounds crazy and disgust i thought the same thing too so i ordered one this is by unbound moreno there's other brands but i don't think they have the same quality as unbound moreno and if you go down description i actually have you a discount for it but i've been trying this out i've been trying this the underwear um, i have a long sleeve shirt too as well but and I even, I did try the socks. Now, I'm not that big a fan of the socks. I do think they feel a little bit warm, but I don't like, Unbound Morena only sells one size, and I am like a 13. So that sock is extremely tight on me. Like, it barely goes over my heel. So I can't recommend the socks if you have big feet. But the shirts are absolutely amazing. I mean, they snap back pretty good. Uh, they're pretty wrinkle-free. I mean... But wearing this shirt, and like I said, you really have to try it out to believe, believe it. I've been wearing like six days. I will wash it. Today will be the last day. But I wanted to try it out on the bike trail. You might be able to see it's a little, little damp. 
but I wanted to try it out in the bike trail because there's a lot of open areas it's a lot of sun and I wanted to see how this would breathe just being a normal t-shirt it did great now the dark color it did feel a little warm in spots uh, where the sun was uh, coming down on me full blast but um, other than that I mean man it breathed it felt great I, and I, I'm loving these shirts they are pricey now I think this is 50 60 or might be $70 but I think it's 50 or 60 for the t-shirts the long sleeve shirt was like about 90 yeah it, it's expensive but in the long run like for us if we want to full-time travel and we got to get everything down to a suitcase if I could have four shirts in a suitcase and that's all I need I mean that saves a lot of space versus trying to carry seven or eight or I mean even if I have three three shirts and I'm wearing one damn mats uh, that's gonna save a ton of space plus also like in the RV like I said we only have a small closet it takes up very little space to have these and I don't have to do washes often like I, said, I know it sounds crazy but trust me this is merino wool merino wool it's a special it's a kind of sheep that's in New Zealand I think that's the only place it is in New Zealand and yeah man it resists odors uh dries pretty quick it's good stuff man really really good stuff all right i'm setting off the security system here that's why my phone keeps going off all right let's go uh burn a chip for the z28 right, this is how you burn this is the chip from the car and this is a burn two that i rented from brian while we do the tuning and this is what we use moats net so what we're going to do here is load file to buffer, and then right there we got tune 6. Now what we're going to do is go to 27SF512. The 27SF, and that's for burning the chip. I mean, he'll, he gives you a whole big breakdown right here, which you can see. He tells you how to uh, burn the chips and all that. So, all right, first thing we need to do is erase the chip, and then we need to program chip. Then we're going to verify with buffer. Right there, we have success. All right, now we're gonna go put it in the car and data log. All right, so me and Brian are on the same page now. What we're tuning the car for now is drivability, like he said, and I've commented. It's getting extremely lean just on relatively just regular driving. So what we're looking at this time is just the condition of the uh, fueling while we drive. So I'm gonna let this wait for this to say close that means it's up to temperature right now we're only at 114 we're gonna go close loop and then uh oh there we go close loop now we're gonna go for a drive Let's see what this thing does range of 
off. And what was the cure? Torque converter. The ISC has not been changed, it's not been reset, it's not been programmed. Nothing's been changed since we were last having issues. The only thing we've done in this car is a uh, torque converter. So there you have it. It's actually working all kinds of different steps there. Alright, now... Now, now we'll go to the 50. be honest with you, I don't know what is what. This one says O2. O2 B1S1, I don't know. sensor again now look at how much that one's moving around so I don't think it's anything really to worry about I think it's gonna do this no matter what but yeah there we go intake air temp I like keeping it there because I had that big intercooler on this car. So I always like to see my boost in the air intake. That's what I use it for. Alright everyone, so the weather really hasn't been playing very nice for me to get any further tuning done on the car and I want to get this video posted. Brian has made some changes and I'll discuss that on the next video. You know, I have to leave you with a cliffhanger so I get you to come back for more. Also, you might have caught during the dialog something in the car broke. I had the part on order. So that's coming as well. So if you want to help with the repair costs, the continuing thing, please do me a favor. Go down to my Teespring store, get you some nifty merchandise like this beautiful cup here with the new logo. You can still also get Project Z28 merchandise and the L to the W stuff is still there as well. You know, I'll never get a, uh, do away with the name. I still have the Instagram and Facebook account. So make sure you follow me on all the platforms uh, links are down below also do me a favor if you shop Amazon just go to my store save as a favor when you go to Amazon just launch my store and then do your shopping I get a commission on what you buy and it's all anonymous I don't know who you are I don't know what you buy but it really helps me out
best thing is it adds nothing to your cost so you know Bezos and that he has enough money so I get a little part of the sale so yeah help, help me out there it would be greatly appreciated that's like I said you go through the Teespring store you get some pretty cool merchandise all right so before I go I want to share this video it's from Russia to me it's absolutely hilarious um, they have a great public transportation system there and pretty much through Europe uh, you know way more public transportation than we see here in the states you know when we're in Moscow they have a great subway system you have buses that run on electric so you see power lines everywhere up in the air the buses run on that you also have trams that run on electric but they're set on uh, rail rails unlike the buses and then they also have like the big taxi vans and stuff like that and we used all of those things so there was no place we really couldn't get to there now granted like in Krasnodar they didn't have a uh, subway system but still trams and buses and that anywhere so anyhow I want you to watch this video and I want you to watch this woman's expression when this happens just watch this all right and then we'll come back <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's freaking cold, man. Like, no emotion from her whatsoever. And I hate to say it, but you, ladies, you know when something happens, you usually scream your lungs out. This lady didn't even flinch, man. She just, boom, into the car. Like, you can tell if you watch, you can even rewind, go back. You can tell she sees the car coming. It looks like she's throttling back or maybe hitting the brakes. She just goes back, sits her, and she knows that he, like, hits inevitable. Like, this is the daily occurrence. Like, this is, doesn't even move. She doesn't look to see the person. Nothing, man. Just slams into it. It's, a, it's, a, it's an older video I saw a long time ago, but I came across it again, so I screen captured it. Uh, absolutely. To me, it's just hilarious how this, this lady has no emotion whatsoever driving into that car. Ah! Anyway, it's funny. It adds something a little bit different to the video, so... Uh, stay tuned. We got more tuning and repair work to do on this car. Hopefully the weather will hold out enough. I can get the new tune in here and then we can data log and stuff like that. And Brian can get this car dialed in and we can get it dyno tuned. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Please subscribe if you haven't. Like, share, comments appreciate it. Links down below. Got a ton of discount codes for you down there for all types of stuff. And... Uh, Guys, man, you guys are the best. You keep me going, man. The, the subscribers, you reach out to me, comment on the videos, reach out to me on Instagram, Facebook, and message me, man. I do appreciate it. It means a lot. So thank you very much. Until next time, stay safe, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.